In almost a month, we have now two movies that deal with World War II, but have no big battles in them. Cinematic Class is about to begin, and the professor is... Ladies and gentlemen, today's lesson plan deals with the movie Alone We Fight. Now, it must have been about a month or so ago that I did a review of a movie called Wonderland. This was also an independent movie of World War II, uh, around the Battle of the Bulge. And they didn't have the budget to show big battles, so they kind of reduced everything to little skirmishes between a handful of American soldiers and a handful of, of German soldiers. This movie does the same thing. They also don't have a, a big budget to stage a massive, you know, battle scene. So everything is reduced down to little skirmishes between three or four guys on one side and three or four guys on the other side. You will note, though, the Americans look pretty good in this one. The Germans, are, <laughs> they're looking a little stout and pudgy in this. I, maybe that was just something I picked up, but <laughs> it's in the movie. And this movie comes from somebody that uh, I have been singing his praises for uh, quite some time now because I really like the way he approaches film, and that is Justin Lee. Justin Lee, uh, if you recall, burst on the scene with Big Legend. Oh, man, I really liked that movie an awful lot. And then uh, not too long ago... He had a Western called Any Bullet Will Do. And that was an excellent Western, too. So he's done uh, several independent films and come up with a few gems. He switched studios. Instead of staying with the studio that he did all those movies with, he's now with a new studio. But he brought most of his technical crew along with him. So we still have, uh, for example, we have Justin Janowitz on as his director of photography and cinematographer, and Michael Tang is still doing his editing, uh, and those guys he's kept with him throughout his throughout his uh, run. The actors are all different. We don't get the guys that we're used to seeing in a Justin Lee movie. So this time around, the head uh, the protagonist is uh, Sergeant Greg, and he's played by Aiden Bristow. His right-hand man, if you will, uh, Mikey, the big strong guy, is played by Matt McCarthy. And the third member of their group is Private uh, Archer, who was played by Phil Nathaniel. So, new acting crew here. The crew handles it well. I mean, this is an independent film, so we don't have A-listers here. But the acting is fine. The story is okay, too. It really boosts up the Army Rangers. Okay? Uh, the movie starts where they've been captured... And uh, 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 they managed to escape, but at a very high cost to the to the squad. They make their way to uh, you know friendly Allied lines, and they're in the uh, first aid kit getting fixed up when it's discovered that the Germans are making another push. And in order to buy time for the mass unit to move, uh, it's called upon the Rangers to go and take out this depot, fuel depot so that none of the heavy artillery can get their fuel and come storming through the through the forest. Uh, okay, decent story. And, and it is a decent story. There's a nice little theme running all through it about, you know, what happened in World War II, patriotism, what have you. So it, it's not a bad little war movie. There, a little bit of... Boy, the, the special effects guys kind of lost this, especially the audio guys, because the guns don't sound like guns. They sound like... Remember when you were young and you used to shoot caps? Yeah, they kind of sound like that. And the grenades aren't really... I mean, a grenade... If you throw a grenade, it can take out two, three, four guys. Easy. These grenades just kind of... They look like M80s. That's <laughs> what they look like. So I'm not quite sure that, that filtered through all the way. But, but if, if you put that aside and, and, and let that go for a little bit, uh, then I think the story... the for this one is fine for World War II. It's called Alone We Fight, and I think you'll find that it's a it's a decent flick. I kind of like Justin Lee when he's in the horror realm, and I really like him when he's in the Western realm, so I'm not quite sure that I'd want him to see him do another war movie, but it's worth a view, and it's not bad. It's probably a step above Wonderland, so you can take it from there and, and check it out. Alone We Fight Now that you have learned what you have learned here end of your lesson.